and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be an introduction for a brand new project pan. This project pan is Child of the 80s. It is a Fantastic Ladies collab and it was created by a lady called Chaylon. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. I'm really sorry if I'm not. But what this project pan is, so it's a list of prompts where you pick eight at a time and then just kind of, it's random. So you pick a random number and then you take that prompt and correspond to that particular thing. And then you pick an item for that thing. And then when you finish that, then you roll another one or another the two or however many you finish until the end of the year. So it's running from January 1st through to December 31st. I've not rolled my items yet. I am a couple of days late on this, but I wanted to roll them live for you. So we're going to do that. It is one to 40. So I'm just going to roll that and then we will go and see what the things are. So I have the pretty random app and I'm going to do one to 40 and I'm going to have the list on the side. Okay. It should keep the history for me. I hope so. 30, 20, 10, 15, 39, 10. Okay, so that's, 10's been twice, so I just counted, that's five, so I need three more. 39's been gone. Four. 10 again, 40, and 8. So, 8, 40, 4, 39, 10, 15, 20, and 30. So I'm going to write those down, find out what they are, go and find some items, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've worked out what the numbers correlate to and I've picked something for that item. So the first one I rolled or wrote down here was number 30 and that was for the Rubik's Cube and that was something colourful. So for that, I'm going to pick this. This is a Cleona Cosmetics eyeshadow in the shade Stencil and it is this purple duo creamy kind of shade. That is what that looks like. I will take photos of where we're starting as with everything else this year, I'm gonna try. So I will take photos so the next time around you'll see whatever progress I make on this. But that is the first item. The second item was for number 20 and that was don't have a cow man. And that was an easy item to pan. So I picked another eyeshadow and this is just a cream matte eyeshadow with a whole bunch of pan on it. And I think this will be really easy to finish up. So that is that one. The next one was number 10 and that was 16 Candles, a product that makes wishes come true. And for that, I picked this. This is the Too Faced lip gloss in the shade Sugar Plum. I love, love, love these mini glittery lip glosses. They are just a dream. So I will go ahead and weigh this and I will put the weight on the screen for you so you know where we are, where we are starting. But I think we are just, I mean, it probably needs to settle a little bit, but I think we are just here you can see kind of here there's like a gap like a window so i don't know if that's an actual gap or if it's artificial or something but we will see what happens as i'm using it the next item was for number 15 and that was a princess bride an item you love and for that i picked this this is the Too faced glitter glue eyeshadow primer and i have a teeny bit left of this like there's barely anything in there but i figured seeing as this project is year long and i want to roll in other stuff then it's okay if i have one or two items that will finish up really quickly so that is that one. The next one was for 39 and that was Simon Says and for that item I could pick anything. So I picked this. This is the Urban Decay highlighter in the shade Sin. I do already have a pan in this as you can see just there. It took me a while to hit pan. I want to try and finish this up in 2021. I don't know if that's like achievable or not but I want to give it a go. I want to see how far I get and I figured this was the perfect project for this particular item. So that is that. The next item was number four and that was Like a Virgin and that that was a new product and for that I picked this because I didn't know if we could pick makeup or beauty or just makeup or whatever but I'm gonna put this in anyway this is the origins ginseng ultra hydrating energy boosting cream and it is brand new but they only filled it up to the blue line there so that is where we are starting on that one the next one was number 40 and that was a wild card and that was I got to choose that one as well so I kind of lucked out with this project to be honest normally when I do roulettes I get like all eyeshadow 
clothes or something ridiculous like that. So I picked the Live Irresistible Perfume by Givenchy and we are at the blue line just there. And the last item was number eight and that was Weird Science and that was an unusual product or weird formula. So I am going in the Naughty Nude by Huda because there is this shade in here. It's this one here called Slippery and it's kind of like a pigmented gel. I'm guessing it's kind of so you can get that glossy eye look but it's got like a color to it as well. It's really odd but that is a swatch of it. So it's kind of, it's got a teeny bit of pigment but it's really sheer and really shiny. But as far as I'm aware it's made to go on the eye, it's made to go on the lid. It says one sheer pearly gloss hybrid. For a soft pearlescent glow apply the pearl gloss hybrid to bare lids. So yeah it basically it works to get the glossy lid kind of formula. So I'm looking forward to trying that. I don't think I'm going to be able to hit pan. Honestly I don't, I've never even tried glossy lids before. I don't know if it's my thing. I don't know if I'm going to like it. So I'm going to say I want to use it five times and then after the five times if I am enjoying it then we'll make it ten times maximum and then after the ten times we'll roll it out. If after the five times I'm just not loving it and I can't deal with it then I probably might just not use this shade in this palette but if I get on with it okay then I will use it the ten times. And those are my starting eight items so the next update will be my progress on these particular items and we'll have pictures and everything and then if we need to roll stuff out because I finished it or hit goal on it and then roll stuff in then we'll do that as well. Thanks so much for watching this video and thank you to Chelon, sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, for having me on this project. I really enjoy being a part of the Fantastic Ladies so that we can join in on so many amazing collabs. If you don't know the Fantastic Ladies the Facebook group is always linked down below in any one of these Fantastic Ladies collab videos so go ahead and sign up for that. We do ask that you fill in a little like three questions thing just to make sure that you're a human and not a robot so try and fill those in as best you can. It doesn't need to be detailed or anything like that. As long as they're filled in, we're kind of okay. We're a really accepting bunch. So just go ahead and do that and we will let you in. And then you can join in on all the amazing projects that we do. Thanks so much for watching this video. Take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye.